Back for a quick video, guys. This one is another ramen or noodle one, but uh, it's not one of those extra spicy ones. It's just a flavor I haven't tried before that is called Za Wang noodle dish with roasted mild black bean sauce. sauce. It's uh, not really even an import because it says it's made in the USA, but whatever the case, it's just a sort of brown sauce apparently bean-based uh, sauce noodle and I just wanted to do a quick video on that. I'm gonna start doing any flavor that I try, especially new ones. So um, just I'll probably do quicker reviews on most of them unless it's something really unique. But I've got a couple of new flavors to try coming up so uh, this will be pretty quick. Let's see what it tastes like. Hmm. It's a pretty plain brown. It's like a nice savory flavor, but it just tastes like a plain, maybe beef inspired kind of taste. And I added a lot of things to this. I added cilantro, green onions or scallions, a little bit of regular white onion, I mean yellow onion. Uh, cherry tomatoes that were chopped up and Chinese eggplant that was chopped up into chunks uh, and then two large Vietnamese beef tendon meatballs. There's one of the meatballs. But yeah, it's a nice savory uh, kind of mild sauce. It's not spicy at all. It's just a hearty kind of beefy or bean flavor. So it goes great with these beef tendon meatballs. Mmm. Damn, that's good. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I would say nothing special about it, but if you're wanting something that's going to be kind of hearty, but mostly kind of mild, like it's not going to be hard on your stomach like those spicy ones are, this is a good one for that. Like, maybe if you were sick or something, this would be a good... I don't know if I should recommend ramen for when you're sick, but... I don't know, it, it's pretty good. It's nothing... I'm kind of really into the spicy stuff, so... You know, only every now and then do I eat a plain dish like this. But it's not bad. I kind of like it. Uh, just not... It's not very unique. I guess that's the only complaint. Is like, there's nothing special about it. It's just a nice, plain noodle. <laughs> Um, as far as cooking it, it's pretty pretty simple. You just cook the noodles for five minutes, and during that, you add in the oil, the uh, sauce packet, and the little dried seasoning packet, and that's all there is. You just let, mix that all up as they're boiling, so uh, they're not like other ramen where you have to wait till the end to add everything. You just add it all as soon as the water's boiling. Mmm. But yeah, that's it. Um, not much to write home about. <laughs> but uh, I'll do some more videos coming up soon. I've got two new spicy... Actually, hang on. i got four new spicy flavors. Um, two of them are by Sam Yang. Or actually, I think three of them are by Sam Yang. Two of them are just special versions of the, the chicken flavor with other flavors added. One of them is a seafood-inspired flavor that's really unique and weird and then the fourth one is another company and it's rice cake based so it's not even noodles it's little rice cake like sort of rectangular rice piece base or rice based uh, things they're like a little rectangles but anyways those are gonna be interesting so stay tuned for those and I will see you guys later bye